Hello friends, I am Avinav. Happy New Year to all, to you all. Today I am going to teach you fractions. So let's move to the board. So friends, what is fractions? A fraction is a part of a whole. So suppose take a cake. We divide it by four parts. Now uh, your friend, suppose your friend took three, one by two, means half of the parts. So we write one by two. This is fraction. We can tell fraction is a part of a whole. So suppose if your friend took another part of it, we write again one by four. This is all fractions. So we will learn what is a fraction. A fraction. Is a, a fraction is a part of a whole. I have told you earlier. So, for example, 7 by 8, 11, 11 by 16, 12 by 13. These are all fractions. So, so now I am going to teach you what is denominator and numerator. What is denominator and numerator. So, the, the number on the upper side is known as numerator. The number on the, on the upper side is known as numerator. And the number on the lower side, this one, is known as denominator. So, uh, so now we are going to learn what is proper fraction. So, what is proper fraction? A fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator is called a proper fraction. I am repeating it again. A number, a fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator is called a proper fraction. So, some examples of proper fractions are 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 5 by 6. These are all proper fractions. So now we are going to learn what is improper fractions. A fraction whose numerator is equal or greater than its denominator is called the improper fraction. So some examples of some improper fractions are 9 1, sorry, 9, 9 7, 6, 3, 61. 37 these are all improper fractions so and impro so now we are going to learn what is mixed fraction so what is mixed fraction a fraction which consists of two parts one natural number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction i am giving you some examples so take an example 3 2 by 7 uh, see, the mixed fraction consists of two parts. 3, it is a natural number. 3 is a natural number. And 2 by 7 is a proper fraction. So, I hope you understand what is mixed fraction. So, now we are going to learn how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. See friends, an improper fraction can always be converted into a mixed fraction. So we will learn now how to convert a improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So suppose take a number like 43 and 6. Now we have to convert it into mixed fraction. So we will divide it by 6. Means we will just divide it. We will write 6 and 42 and 1. The 1 comes here. So I will, we will take this 1 here and this 6 we will write here. So we get... 7 1 by 6 this is the mixed fraction and it is the answer so friends now i am giving you another example so the another example is 7 by 3 so now we have to convert this into mixed fraction so 3 to the 6 we will write 1 here so 1 will go here and 3 will come down we get 2 by 3 as the answer so friends now we will learn how to convert a mixed fraction into sorry how to convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction 
So take an example like 3 1 by 2. We have to convert it into an improper fraction. So we have to just do first we will write 2 at the down and then we have to just only multiply 2 and 3 then add the upper one that is 1. Then we will get the answer 2 3 is a 6 and 7 7 by 2. We get the improper fraction. So I am showing you another example that is 4 3 by 9. So now we will write a 9 down and multiply 4 and 9 then plus with which means add it by 3. So we get 4 9 is 36 and 39 by 9. We get the answer. So friends, now I hope you understand how to convert a improper fraction into a mixed fraction and how to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So now we are going to learn yeah, equivalent fractions. See friends, if two or more fractions have the same value, then they are known as equivalent fractions. So the fractions having same value are known as equivalent fractions. So now we are going to learn how to reduce a fraction in its simplest form. So first we will take the take an example. There are two ways of two ways of converting a fraction into its simplest form. One method I'm teaching you now, and the next method I will teach you in the next class, means in the next episode. So the first method is HCF method. And next method is prime factorization method. The next method is prime factorization method. So today we are going to the HCF method. So now we have to convert this improper fraction. The improper fraction 2156. We have to convert this one into uh, into its simplest form. But we have to just do the HCF. 21 2 is a 42. We get 14. So we will write 21 here. We are just doing the HCF. 14 1 is a 14. We get 7. So 14 would come here. We get 14. So the answer we get that means the HCF is 7. So we have to just now do the do uh, divided by the fractions 21 divided by 7 we get 3 and 56 divided by 7 we get 8 so the, the, the fraction is converted into a simplest form so the answer is 3 by 8 so friends i hope how you understand how to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction and how to convert a improper fraction into a mixed fraction in this video i have also taught you that how, what is a proper fraction what is a fraction what is a mixed fraction and what is the improper fraction in the next video i will teach you more about fractions and uh, and i will also teach you the prime factorization method so friends I will meet you in the next video. That's all for this. Just smash the like button and subscribe my channel. So, good night.